You are listening to Keith Price's Curtain Call. Here we are at the Cheetah Rivera Awards, and I'm now standing with Tony Award nominee, Cheetah Rivera Award nominee, and Drama Desk nominee a couple of times or so, if I'm not mistaken. Once, Just this first once. Time, this year, first yes. time. So, the amazing Tony Asbeck. Hey, you thank doing? you. Thank you. I'm, I'm so happy to be here celebrating dancers on Broadway and off Broadway. And off Broadway. And film. And film. And that's right. Many choreography. So, many, so much to do with dance. Well, uh, you, my friend, are singer, dancer, triple threat, the whole schmear. You're the big, the, the big to do. When they said to you that you've been nominated for this award and the show's been closed for quite a while, what did you think? Well, it just means that they remember. <laughs> you know? Sometimes they don't remember things. It's the power of the dance. Yeah, I mean, you know, we closed over six months ago, so for them to nominate you, it, it makes you feel excited. Oh, there's Joel Gray. He's waving. I should say, okay, hi, Joel. Love you. He's so sweet. I love him. He's the best. So, um, yeah, so it just it feels good to be remembered and to have an impression that is a little more lasting than just uh, the night you went to the theater, you know? Well, you know, the thing about it, though, with you that I, I loved so much in that piece, it's like it was tap dance in a way that I've never seen tap dance shoes before. Thanks. Thanks. So, yeah, we, we, well, it was our mission to never create a step for just dance sake. It was always about the story and storytelling. So we had to make sure that everything we were doing on that stage connected to why this character felt and uh, the way he did and, and, and what he was doing with it. So, um, you know, th that's the way Susan Stroman works. That's the way I work. And when you put two heads together like that, we, you know, you're, you're bound to find something that is story driven. You know, it's so funny as I'm standing here looking at you, know, I'm I, I always think that you and I have a wonderful relationship because I get to talk to you a lot of times. And something I never thought about, when are we going to see you choreographing? Good question. Uh, you know, I've been st I've been starting to direct and choreograph a little bit uh, for the Young Arts Foundation uh, through the, some different concerts, even at the Kennedy Center last summer. Um, so I, I'm I'm really interested. I get I get even I get very interested in um, directing and choreographing odd things, not necessarily your generic you know musical theater Broadway thing, and uh, but maybe something that has. Uh, different elements like um, different disciplines of arts put together say a tap dancer dances with uh, a cello and, and then a harpist comes in and somebody's you know some opera singer sings over it you know I, I, I that's my kind of um, that's my vision for theater is is there's no rules in what you can put on the stage and and then making making an audience feel so deeply because of the way you've sort of manipulated them you know, and that's that's what's exciting. So I don't know. Hopefully, maybe we'll find a new form, and I'll put it together, and it'll be original, and then we'll bring it to Broadway. Mm, but in the meantime, people can see you right now yes. on uh, what is it? The Beast of the Jungle. The Beast, Beast in, in the, the jungle. jungle. Damn it! That's okay. The I was trying to be so professional. That's all right. That's all right. But look, no paper. Yeah. <laughs> You're so good. You're good. Beast. In, Beast the in the jungle at the Vineyard Theater, we open this Wednesday uh, okay. through at least June seventeenth. Right. We might extend a week more, but right now we're at June seventeenth. Yes. And you're just going to be dancing up a storm in that as well. Yeah, you want to if you want to come see me uh, beat myself up on stage, uh, come to the Beast in the Jungle. What an endorsement, right? What, you don't this man, I, I got nothing but love for you. So Thank anytime, you, anytime you want to talk to me, I don't give a squat.